Ave Maria Prisma, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. It's the feast of St. Scholastica and St. Gregory the Great, in his second book of Dialogues, uh, tells the story, so I'll read from that. Scholastica was the sister of the Venerable Father Benedict. She had been consecrated to Almighty God from her very infancy and was accustomed to visit her brother once a year. The man of God came down to meet her at a house belonging to the monastery, not far from the gate. It was the day for the usual visit, and her venerable brother came down to her, accompanied by some of his brethren. The whole day was spent in the praises of God and holy conversation, and at nightfall they took their repast together. While they were at table, and it grew late as they conferred with each other on sacred things, the holy nun thus spoke to her brother, I beseech thee, Stay the night with me, and let us talk till morning on the joys of heaven. He replied, What is this thou sayest, sister? On no account may I remain out of the monastery. The evening was so fair that not a cloud could be seen in the sky. When, therefore, the holy nun heard her brother's refusal, she clasped her hands together, and resting them on the table, she hid her face in them and made a prayer to the God of all power. As soon as she raised her head from the table, there came down so great a storm of thunder and lightning and rain that neither the venerable Benedict nor the brethren who were with him could set foot outside the place where they were sitting. The Holy Virgin had shed a flood of tears as she leaned her head upon the table, and the cloudless sky poured down the wished for rain. The prayer was said, the rain fell in torrents. There was no interval, but so close to each other were prayer and rain, that the storm came as she raised her head. Then the man of God, seeing it was impossible to reach his monastery amidst all this lightning, thunder, and rain, was sad and said complainingly, God forgive thee, sister, what hast thou done? But she replied, I asked thee a favor, and thou wouldst not hear me. I asked it of my God, and he granted it. Go now, if you can, to the monastery and leave me here. But it was not in his power to stir from the place, so that he would not stay willingly, had to stay unwillingly and spend the whole night with his sister, delighting each other with their questions and answers about the secrets of the spiritual life. On the morrow, the holy woman returned to her monastery and the man of God to his. When lo, three days after he was in his cell and raising his eyes, he saw the soul of his sister going up to heaven in the shape of a dove. Full of joy at her being thus glorified, he thanked his God in hymns of praise and told the brethren of her death. He straightway bade them to go and bring her body to the monastery, which having done, he had it buried in the tomb he had prepared for himself. Thus it was said, as they had ever been one soul in God, their bodies were united in the same grave. And so forth. St. Gregory the Great said, It is not to be wondered at that the sister who wished to prolong her brother's stay should have prevailed over him. Why would the sister prevail? He says, For whereas St. John tells us that God is charity, it happened by most judge judgment, that she that had the stronger love had the stronger power. Charity is the virtue that matters. Pray to St. Scholastica today for an increase in the virtue of charity in your soul.